welcome everybody from myself as well. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about um, how we can uh, synchronize page templates across uh, multiple uh, site collections. First of all, let's start talking about uh, page template very briefly, just to uh, be sure that we are all on the same page. So uh, you know that in a modern site, uh, especially if you are in a communication site, uh, you can create a new page uh, and you can use a page template if you like, uh, so that these page templates can behave almost like uh, the page layout we were used to have uh, in the past uh, uh, publishing features of uh, uh, SharePoint. And if I select this custom page template, for example, I have a custom header with a custom image, and I can define my uh, custom layout for the page and can uh, build multiple pages based on this uh, page template. Uh, it is really uh, useful and powerful. And when you want to create your own uh, custom uh, page templates, uh, you simply need to create uh, a new page uh, in a modern site. Uh, and when you will publish your page, uh, of course, I have to provide name, which of course will be name. And when you publish, uh, a page uh, you can select uh, uh, to make that page uh, available also as a page template. Under the cover, what will happen will be that, and let me leave this page because I don't really need it, uh, that in the side pages library of your uh, uh, modern site, there will be a folder called templates in which you will have uh, all of your uh, page templates stored. Now let's switch uh, very briefly to the slide deck, see what is the need we want to talk about, uh, and then come back to the uh, to the demo. So what if uh, we want to share the same uh, set of page templates uh, across multiple modern site collections? So for example, whenever we create uh, a new uh, modern communication site or modern twin site, we want to have uh, an out-of-the-box set of page templates available, and eventually we also want to keep all of the site collections in sync so that we have exactly the same set of page templates across all of these site collections. Well, one option is to use the PMP uh, provisioning engine and to create a PMP provisioning template which will do the actual provisioning of the page templates across all of your site collections. And uh, uh, what is the suggested architecture for achieving this goal? Uh, I said so far on this slide, because right now, this is a, a technique that you can use, the one that I'm talking about. Maybe, and that's my hope at least, in the future there will be something out of the box. But right now, so far, what you can do is to create a custom site design which can be used whenever you provision a new uh, site, a new modern site, uh, so that with that site design, you can also use the PMP provisioning engine in the backend, and you can provision the page templates uh, during the uh, application of your site design, as well as you can eventually create a job uh, which will sync, uh, let's say once a day or whenever you want, uh, will uh, synchronize uh, the page templates uh, across all of the existing uh, uh, site collections. To give you an idea of the overall architecture of a uh, proposed solution for this need, you can have a custom set design which will be available in the list of uh, designs that you can select when you create uh, a modern site. Uh, once uh, you create the set design, inside of the set design you can use the trigger flow uh, action which will be uh, useful to invoke uh, an external Microsoft Flow flow. So we are back again on Flow. <laughs> and using Flow, you can pull a message in a queue. The flow can be an HTTP triggered flow so that you will wake up the flow instance with an HTTP request coming from the site design. You will put a message in a storage queue. And thanks to the message in the storage queue, you will activate an Azure function, which will be used to do the actual provisioning uh, of uh, the PMP provisioning template, which will include uh, the page template. So how can we do that in practice? First of all, from a uh, PMP uh, point of view, we can connect to a site which can be the uh, repository, the source repository of our page templates, uh, and we can get the provisioning template out of that site. We have to declare that we want to include all the client side pages. We target the page contents handler only so that we will get a very clean and simple uh, um, provisioning template. Uh, and I already did it targeting this site we were having a look right now. 
And by doing the get PMP provisioning template, I saved a .xml file just for the sake of showing you the content. And as you can see in this file, I have the definition of all of my client side pages, which will include also the uh, client side pages stored in the templates folder. So basically the page template. And if, let me say, we are smart enough to keep uh, a site collection dedicated to be the uh, model or the repository for page template that we want to share across all of the site collection, we will simply need to use the command line that I showed you, the get PMP provisioning template. Uh, we will include the client side pages and we will get back all the page templates uh, defined as client side page elements in the provisioning template together with any additional file like for example the background image that I selected for my custom page template and by applying this template onto a target site which we need to create right now let me do that let me go to the root of SharePoint and let me create a target site which I will call page and place target and as soon as the page will be ready I will be able to create a new uh, communication site, for example. I will call it like we just saw, so page template target. Let me create it. And in a matter of few seconds, as soon as the target will be created, I will be able to connect and to apply my target provisioning template onto this site. So let's do that. Let's connect with Connect PMP Online and let's apply the uh, PMP provisioning template. And by doing that, uh, you will see I will have my page template available in the list of templates uh, whenever I will create a new page uh, in this uh, target site. You can fully automate the process using the Microsoft Flow and the site design, as I told you, and you can create a really uh, interesting and powerful solutions for your end users because every new site will be uh, out of the box uh, or almost out of the box already uh, with the set of page templates that you want to have. Matter of few seconds to see the uh, template applied and if I come back and refresh the home page of this site, which is the one we just created, I can simply create a new page and as you will see, I will have my page template available on this new site as well. So as I said, Really uh, useful and interesting, really uh, powerful scenario, just with few PowerShell lines of code and a very, very simple and uh, uh, lightweight uh, flow and site design in place. And that's it for this short demo. It was a 10 minute demo, so I tried to do my best to, uh, uh, to save some time so that we can eventually have some uh, room for any uh, question in the Q&A area. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you uh, for a great demo. A quick one, um, but it's super useful demo because it really shows the simplicity on, on extracting and applying uh, those templates and lists, uh, sorry, dates templates from existing sites. So uh, just one clarification on page template and page layout usage. Uh, these are page templates, which means that they're basically starting points. There are no locked uh, sections because that's not supported in the modern SharePoint pages, at least for now. Uh, we'll never know what will be available in the future. So the classic kind of a page layout in the publishing side of the house, they supported kind of a lockdown sections and controls, and that's not supported with the modern uh, side of the house but super simple demo but super powerful demo on using the templating mechanism uh, for doing that <clears throat> now there was a few questions related on the on the licensing and all of that stuff um I, right now at least personally i don't want to comment anything or even specul speculate anything related on licensing things. I think John uh, responded on, on some of those yet, uh, already. Uh, so clarifying at least the integration between the, the list uh, and, and the flow. Now, what does this scenario would mean from a licensing perspective? What Paolo uh, showed, um, I, I don't want to speculate on that. And there are licensing changes uh, <laughs> in progress um, in the flow side of the house. Well, I think they have been announced, but uh, it's still under clarification on what does it mean in practice. 